Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make a pattern and use it in Photopea. It's pretty easy and you could do really whatever you want, but I'm just going to show you how to do it. So let's go. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new document or project, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to make it 10 by 10 pixels, which is really tiny. And then I'm going to make the background transparent and hit create. So now you got a really tiny box. So you just go over to the magnifying glass thing over here, left click on that. And then you can just hold left click and drag inward until it's bigger. Now I'm going to go down to the rectangle tool and right click on it. And there's a bunch of options. So I'm going to choose the line tool. So left click on that. Make sure your fill up here is black. Don't enable the stroke and make sure the width is three. If you're doing this size. If you're doing a different size, you'll you'll make the width bigger, but and make sure this option is shape. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the bottom left corner, hold left click and hold shift at the same time while I drag upward. So it stays straight and there we go. There's the first part. Now I'm going to go over to my move tool at the top left, left click on it. Right click on the layer and hit duplicate layer. And you want to do this twice. So the first layer I'm going to move to the corner to make it look like there's three really dark pixels and then there's three light pixels. I'm going to do the same for this. So it looks the same. Now I'm just going to go up to edit, define new, and pattern. So it's this pattern added up here. So now I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to delete the text and I'll show you. So I'm going to type in, so you say you want to type in some text, right? You got your text or you can put it on a background, but I got text for now. You just want to double click on your text, go to pattern overlay, check that box and mine's already enabled, but it would be like this or something. It would be one of the defaults and you just want to click this little box and choose your new pattern, which is this one. And I've had some fails like this one. I don't know what's going on there, but basically there's the pattern. It saves instantly and that's all you got to do. You can be creative and do whatever pattern you want, but that's just how you do it. I hope this helped you guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.